Hello everyone, I'm Denise Love and today I was in the mood to do a new color palette. So I pulled a color palette out of the color cube and done my own personal color palette challenge. And I'm going to bring you along and just show you how I created what I created today with the palette that I chose. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and pick a color palette to use. I'm in the color cube um, deck number one. Um, and I'm just gonna, you're gonna see a ton of these because I think I want to make my way through all 500 cards um, and like as a personal project and this may take several years and you know I don't know I'm just pulling a, let's just pull one and just say okay this is it. Oh look at these colors. Yeah it's my own personal goal to do all 500 on uh, these color palettes. Look how pretty that is with this and I'm all uh, cover this paper. Um, so I'm actually kind of excited and I think I'm going to go ahead and do this color palette in my Kiritake watercolors because I just love these watercolors. I'm obsessed with them and it seems to be the easiest to pull colors that are closest and I just try to get close. I'm not trying to be Exact, exact. That's my own personal preference. If you're an exacty, exacty kind of person, you go for it. But I'm a let's get as close as we can kind of person. And I've got the 48 piece set and the Art Nouveau set, which I have looked on the Kiritake site because I was like, are there more colors? <laughs> and I have discovered that they have a hundred colors, but um, colors like this, these two sets are the whole set of colors. And then they've got the um, the uh, graphite colors and they've got some metallics. And so out of those other specialty ones, it makes up the entire 100 set. Um, because I was like, are there more of these? I'm so obsessed. I need all the things. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, yeah, this is basically all of them. And I'm just kind of looking at the colors and saying, okay, is this the color on the card? And getting as close as I can. And somebody said, why even do these if you're not going to be completely 100% exact? And I got to tell you, I'm just not an exacty, exacty kind of person. I'm a go with the flow. Let's just see what's going to work. I don't have to be 100% exact. And that's just my way. And if you want to get right on the money, you go for it. All right, let's see what this color is. This is yellow brown. Do we feel like yellow brown? I don't know if I feel like yellow brown or not. I almost think, because I've got the burgundy right on, I've got this little flesh tone right on, and then what are these other colors on here? How close can I get? We're going to get as close as we can, and I might not be a hundred percent but we'll definitely get as close as we can and then I'll just color swatch it to say okay do I like it or not I'm always kind of feeling like that is that and then we need this pretty pretty salmon color which I'm not seeing an exact color we could certainly pick a color and do a mix that might be something that we consider because I think we could mix these up really well um, so let's just get a paintbrush and see where we're at now. I've got little watercolor samples over here. Let's just see how close we are. Oh yeah, ha ha, right on with that. And then we've got this little flesh tone. Oh yes. And then let's see if this, oh yeah, that is perfect. Ha ha ha, see this set gets really close. And then this part, this is more of a purple than it is that brownish burgundy. Let's see, is there anything closer? Let's see what this one is. That one's a little pinker. Let's see, I think this is just brown. Yeah, see, that's brown. And we could take this moment to see if, if I mix anything, will that get closer on that kind of peachy color? I do like that color, though. We're just going to go ahead and stick with what we got there. This is more purpley, though. Let's see. That's more purpley. These colors are very purpley. Oh, that one's right on. Look at that. That is right on to that color right there. <laughs> All right. So really, is this color closer? That color's darker. All right, let me get a new piece of paper. I 
All right, so now we've got the brown, then we've got the flesh, then we've got this. It is a little more red now that I do it that way. So which one is really, well, let's just keep it. And then we've got this one that's a little more purpley than it is burgundy. Okay, what about this over here? That one is more pinky. What do we got over here? Ooh, see, now that's a pretty color. All right. Let's just pick a pink. Let's see, is this pink going to be close enough? What if we mix that pink and that red? Oh, yeah, see right there. Okay. <laughs> All right, going to do some color mixing today on this a little bit. All right, here's our five colors. And mixing them as they're wet kind of pulls in our color palette. Um, so that's what I'm going to go with. So I'm in the Kiritake. I've got the yellow brown and rose beige and cherry blossom pink and cadmium red and purple. All right, so that's what I'm doing. There's my color palette for today. All right, and I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut this up into some weird strips and just see, abstracting wise, what I can create is a little triplet. So I'm gonna tape that down and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got my color palette inspiration. And I say inspiration because I want to remind you, get as close as you can if you want, but feel free to deviate when the mood strikes you. And if you're doing like these Kiritakis, um, then get as close and do some mixing if you want. Um, so that was my inspiration piece for this color palette. These are definitely colors you don't normally see me pull. I love these kinds of challenges because I'm learning new stuff and trying new things and getting excited about it with you. And so this is uh, paper wise, I'm using the Hanamal watercolor paper, 140 pound. This is a nine inch by 12 inch cold press paper. And I've just cut these into four inch sections so that it's um, in one third each. And no reason why I wanted to do this today. I was just thinking about it and thought, ha ha, let's play with this. <laughs> and when we peel the tape, Hopefully we'll have three pieces that we love or maybe one piece that we love and two others that were like, yeah, but then we still have that one piece. I don't know. Let's just experiment with this. Um, and then on top of this, I might do, you know, stencil work or mark making. Um, I'm going to go ahead and activate my little colors here. And I'm going to start. Let's just start at the top and try not to get water dripping everywhere and I'm just using my Raphael number no. zero soft quill brush and I'm gonna work this like an abstract as if it were one big piece and just not worry about it just kind of intuitively put these colors where they feel good and when we peel that tape we're gonna be surprised at what we get and that's exactly what I love so just work it like one big piece and just be brave <laughs> That's what I'm telling myself. Be brave. Oh. Oh. See, now some of these color palettes have this. That one I did the other day has this weird kind of fleshy tones in it. and I don't know that I would normally even pull these out and consider adding them into my pieces. So that's kind of interesting. All right, let's go on down the, on down the palette here. And I'm working these wet on wet. I like working on a cotton paper um, because it does. Ooh, that color is so bright, it almost just scared me. <laughs> but we're going to get it mixing and that'll pull it into that color that we're hoping it is. There we go. I like that. Okay. I'm kind of feeling it. What do you think? You're like, I don't know. I'm telling you, I've made some crazy discoveries by doing painting like this. It's kind of wild. Let me 
pick up some of that pink there and do some mixing right here on my page. It's just kind of wild what some of these end up looking like, like for reals. I'm doubting just as much as you are when I get started. That one that had the, the yellow and the green and the burgundy and stuff, I was like, what? <laughs> and you just don't even tell me that wasn't like the most amazing set. Okay, that's kind of wild. I think for the moment, I am gonna let these dry and then maybe do some mark making and stuff on top of it. My version of this ended up quite a bit brighter than my Inspiration palette, so this is maybe a palette I might revisit again. Um, but it was my inspiration where we started from today, and so we're gonna ride the wave of what we're creating now, but I do find that very interesting. Um, that my colors are brighter. But when they dry, maybe they'll be a little duller. See, this is exactly why I do these kinds of challenges, because if this were like a really important piece of art and I ended up going, huh, that totally was not what I expected, um, I'm not surprised. Now I'm like, oh, so this is a little brighter and I've made a new discovery and I do these to learn and discover and to grow for this exact reason. Um, that's exactly why we do these. Now we know. New discoveries. I'm almost kind of wondering if I added in some acrylic ink to this. I'm going to resist. Okay, so let's let this dry and I'll come back and mark make. These are 99% dry. I walked away so I wouldn't be tempted to touch it or move it or change it. And then I came back and I thought, ooh, what might I want to put on this? So I pulled out some little acrylic paints. These are the little Arteza paints in a color palette that I thought was super close um, just to see, you know, did I want to do some stencil work on top? Maybe. I pulled out Pearl Carper, uh, Naples Yellow, Vermilion Red, Crimson Red, and Sangria Red. So those are the colors I pulled out in the little acrylic paints. I also pulled out some little oil pastels because I thought, ooh, might want to mark make with those. So I just pulled out um, five colors that I thought were close. And these came out of the big 72 piece set. And this is number two. What does that even say? 243 and 233 and 77, 202 and 34. So I just eyeballed it and said, okay, if I get tempted to use these, I've got them out. And I could do Posca pen, which I've got Posca pens right up on my shelf behind here. So let's just let's just do something here okay so i'm almost feeling like what feels good what feels good okay so i also have some more stencils over there let's see i'm almost feeling like let's put our little palette pad down just using one i already had used because um it's got space still on it and i got some stencils over here and look at these little flower stencils i'm kind of feeling like i want to use those in there. This one came from the crafters workshop and it was a set of two and it was frenzy slash swirly garden. Um, and I just got these because all of a sudden I'm obsessed with stencils. And look at this other set I got. This was called cell theory and cubist. Look at this one right here. And then these with the little cubes. So I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like maybe working in some of those and some flowers possibly. All right, so let me move those out of the way and we'll just see what I'm definitely feel. I think I need to do this underneath first. Okay, so let's start with this one. We'll get a clean little sponge back here. What if we do this in this copper color? That might be like a little shimmer coming through. And we like a little bit of shimmer. Okay, so we're just gonna go for it. I'm not strategically placing this anywhere. I'm doing what feels good, treating it as one big painting, and then, <gasps> ooh, look at that, and then going from there, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, this is a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah, 
Oh yeah, and I'm just kind of strategically move. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put this one down here too. Oh, fun. Okay, that was super fun. I like that stencil a lot. Okay, what about, what about if we do this in this yummy salmon-y color? I don't know. Is that gonna contrast enough? Oh, that is bright. Holy moly, look how bright that is. I'm just gonna use the same sponge. Oh my gosh. All right, let's just go for it. Ah. <gasps> Super fun. Okay, I doubted for a moment. <laughs> oh, super fun. And I like it a little more organic y feel, like it's just moving through the piece. It doesn't have to be, you know, all one flower or exact. <gasps> That's super fun. I love flowers too. Okay, I like that. Let's put that sponge in the water. Now I'm kind of thinking Posca pen possibly. I consider, just so you know, white, black, silver, and gold are always kind of like my neutrally colors. I consider them, I consider them, they could go with anything. Um, so, Posca pen is always on the table. And I'm kind of thinking, why don't we, and oil pastel would be like the very last thing I considered because the oil pastel would definitely make a mess. So let's just get our stick that we use so that I can, this is my five gallon paint stir stick from the paint store. And what I like about it is I can just kind of rest, rest it up off my piece with this hand and rest my hand on it like this. And now I can come back in here and strategically mark, make, and draw on a piece when I need to have my hand steady and maybe it needs to sit there for longer than a moment and protect my piece from my hand smearing stuff. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's super fun with the little light dots in there. Look at that. Then we just need to decide, do we want to do any mark making? Any more mark making? Maybe we want to do some line work with some black. I've got this Kiritake black line marker. Maybe I could come in and add some lines or drop me. You know what? Maybe I don't want to do it in the black. Maybe I want to get another Posca pen because I've got lots of colored, ooh, lots of colored Posca pens back here in my little stash. Here's one that's um, kind of creamy. And, ooh, look at there. That's that kind of darker, that brown color right there. So we could do some, those are kind of like all the colors in there. So now we could decide, do we want to do some other mark making? And if you're just not sure, those little uh, color sampler piece that we made early on, we could kind of look at this and say, oh yeah, I'm kind of feeling that one. Oh, <laughs> totally. Okay, doing the burgundy. What color is this? This is Rose Venta, Ven uh, red wine. <laughs> <laughs> Rosa Rosso Vino. <laughs> Red wine. <laughs> but look at that. Oh my gosh. That was that right there. Love that line right there in that. So let's just go for that line in there. I don't know where we're going to put it. So do we want to do it as a line? Do we want, okay, I'm kind of feeling it now that I'm looking at that. Maybe. Do we want to follow something? Hmm. I kind of wanted it in that light pink right there. But it's kind of on the edge, so will that be too much on the edge? That was fun as a detail in that flower. That's fun. Now I kind of think kind of think I want one that's going to stand out and be like a wow color. Let's see. So I don't know that that's going to be the wow color. 
What about this one? See, now that's almost like super dramatic. So do we need that dark pop as maybe some lines or dots or, hmm. Kind of wondering if we do some black details in here and then maybe this crazy brown, because I feel like it's all pink here in these areas where I might put a color and then these just might sink into it like you might not even see it but maybe we would see this this kind of crazy brown color so but I'm thinking before I do that maybe some fun marks like what if we did like our little marks like this and then I like it with little beads of like pearls on it almost I'm kind of thinking like something like that possibly would be a nice element and something that looks kind of like something I would maybe do. So whatever that signature mark of your it, yours is. And did you see how nice this pen marked on this watercolor? This is the Kuretake. It's one that came in one of my sketch box, my art box subscriptions. Um, so I may not be able to find a link to that. So just use a regular black Pigma pen if you want, but I thought I need to start using some of these pens that come in these boxes So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm using some of this stuff that I'm getting <laughs> Okay, so I'm kind of wondering Like I could do oh, I could do like this right here and You see how that makes these two pieces really feel connected because I do like this little circle that I do a lot in the gold but in this, we're doing it in the black. And by doing it on the two pieces, when we peel that tape, it kind of looks like this half circle thing I just did. Um, so I'm loving that. So I'm actually kind of thinking maybe I would do that down here too. Maybe not on its side. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. I cannot wait. To see what we got when I peel this tape. Let's do our little pearl dots here. All right, that is super fun. That would be pretty in white if we had done that in white too. What if, hmm, kind of feeling like a little bit of gold. Didn't you hear that one coming? Um, and kind of thinking that we could do that with our little circles so little gold circles gotta get the little go I, I could do these little gold circles in that bronze but I've already used that bronze and it's always you know when you're doing stuff like this and you really you can come back to an element that you particularly love and you know if you've been around my Skillshare channel on my YouTube channel for any length of time. I love some gold touches. Oh, that was a little bit wet, but that's okay. My paste, I had, it must have separated a little bit. I'm getting it real thick there. But if you do that on all three, it looks like it was on purpose. <laughs> so if you have something where you're like, oh, that didn't work out or it looks like a mistake, do it on all the pieces and then it looks like it was on purpose fun a little hack there and we just get our little bit of shine as you look to the side which is all I want some yummy shine okay oh ha, ha, that makes me happy <laughs> all right and now now let's pull in the last element that I was kind of considering so let's just go for it I'm thinking this crazy brown. Whoa! These are so soft and I'm pressing so hard. <laughs> okay, crazy brown might not have been the best choice, but there we go. And, oh, knocking something off my table here. And because I did that pastel on top, I will go spray that with a little bit of the Sennelier oil pastel fixative because I'm going to want that to dry and if we just leave it like it is it's less likely to dry 
Um, I wonder if I put like a little of this pink in this brown. <gasps> totally! Oh! Okay, now I'm glad I thought of that because I was just about to be unhappy with the brown. <laughs> totally changed it! Okay, much, much better. <laughs> Um, but yes, I will go spray these with a couple of very light coats of that spray, the fixative, and then I won't have this oil pastel smearing for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh yeah, way better, way, way better. All right, now I'm happy with that. Okay, now I'm anxious to see what we got. <laughs> so, let's peel the tape. And if it starts to tear my paper, I'll get my heat gun out because that is how um, you can keep it from tearing your paper. Um, heat that tape up. Oh yeah, this is peeling really nicely though. Usually if you peel at an angle, kind of a way, not straight up, not real fast. You can peel it without it tearing the paper. There we go. But if it does tear your paper, get your craft heat gun out and heat that tape up and it'll release that adhesive. Oh, these are pretty. I like this color palette. We are slightly off of our inspiration palette brightness wise because this is very muted and and uh, kind of fall colors and I feel like these are kind of brighter spring colors but I did go off my inspiration palette to get here so super excited and then that's a palette I might revisit because I feel like with different materials and different choices on a different day I'm going to get a totally different look. This is why we do these things. To learn and grow and discover these things. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh. It's like we're revealing them now. <laughs> oh, favorite part. Oh, look at that. Is that not super pretty? <laughs> All right, oh my gosh. <gasps> look how beautiful that is now that we've got it separated off of the companion piece you can see the circles just coming in on the one side oh so good oh, I'm scared they're so good don't tear my paper <laughs> And you'll notice I'm only peeling one side when I take two down like this because if you peel it real hard towards the other side, you'll tear that other side's paper. So I do work it. Oh, look at that. I do work it like individual little pieces here when I've got them taped like that because I don't want to accidentally start that tear at the corner and then be like, oh no. Oh, look at these. Brr. This color palette's right up my jam. And I, really, I didn't think it would be when I started. Huh. It's like, don't look and pull a color out and just see what you get. A color palette out. Look at that. <gasps> look how pretty these are. Rawr! That is so lovely. And that's like the perfect word for it. Lovely. These are lovely. <laughs> And now that we've got them pulled apart, we could change the order. And what I like about that is then it doesn't look like they were painted side by side. Now we have a little triptych that matches, but you don't really know what you did. And we could also change direction. Oh, look at that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, totally like it that way. Oh, see, I like this one this way. Let's check this one out. Oh, you see, I like it that way. Ha -ha! Look at that. Okay. Color palette inspiration for today. And I know that mine ended up being slightly brighter. We learned some really good stuff today. And we had a good time painting. Good paint day. Ha! So I can't wait to see what you're painting. 
feel free to tag me on Instagram at Tula Lyle's Art. You can also join the Facebook group that I have for my art peeps and I have a link down in the description below this video if you want to come do that. I love seeing your projects and how you interpret the different challenges. Hit that subscribe button if you loved playing and painting with me today and I'll see you next time.